this better keep me alive. It seriously better keep me alive. All right, um, honeycomb alive. All right, live, live. You know, I never said I was the most intelligent person in the world. I think that kind of hits the nail on the head for that one. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza to Brandon, and uh, welcome back to the episode of Mad Pack 3 here on the Mad Pack 3 server. So last episode, it was made very apparent that, uh, well, in one turn, the good news was that we claimed our new kingdom. We had this beautiful underground lair because we defeated probably one of the most difficult Minecraft bosses I've ever had to fight in my life without being, like, crazy overpowered versus just some, like, generic Minecraft boss like the Ender Dragon or something. We defeated a pretty difficult boss. With that, though, we kind of, uh... I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how, but I somehow managed to drop my gravitite chest plate, and I don't know why. I just, I'm just looking over the footage, and it just looks ridiculous. And I somehow, somehow, somewhere, I'm like, oh yeah, let's drop this to clear some inventory space. God knows fudging why. So unfortunately, we do not have our gravitite suit on us anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate. In all fairness, though, we can't really get back to the aether dimension at least until we defeat this dimension. And it was kind of already pretty broken in all fairness. In fact, my helmet was literally as two durability left. So with maybe one or two hits, this thing would have been dead and the whole suit would have just been pointless at that point. But it was a really nice thing to have on for no fall damage, the double jump ability. That was really awesome. But uh, yeah, that's not a thing anymore, unfortunately. So we're down in the lair right here with our defeated stuff. We have some chocolate coins that we got from defeating him, as well as some shoe guards, shoe guards, dungeon key, and uh, I think actually we got another one of these. Yeah, shoe guard emblem, reduce arrow damage by 20%. Eh, it's okay. It's not really the biggest thing in the world, but yeah, defeated him. We still had two healing stones left, which we'll have to really hold for uh, some good use because obviously there's still a couple more boss dungeons that we have to fight in this dimension. I think at least, at least that's what our book says. We go and check over here, show quest, something sweet. And then I think if we go ahead and look in here, there is the, not the mystery egg, but I need to find, yeah, this one right here. I don't know what this crown is. But I imagine we're going to need some uh, some healing stones for this endeavor. So whenever we get to that, that's going to be fun. But let's just go ahead and uh, really jump back into this. Try to not mourn the fact that we lost a very good set of gear. And just, you know, j go off on our journey with our white diamond set on. I think this is honestly... Ah, uh... oh, man. I'm not, I'm not too happy. <laughs> I'm not too happy at all. So this is actually kind of cool right here. Uh, next thing that we have to do is to make a caramel bow. But I was looking up just caramel in general. And uh, we might actually not have to use the healing stones like we've been using before. Because take a look at this. There's actually golden apples and god apples in this dimension. But they're known as caramel apples. So a caramel apple right here holds shift for details. Two minutes of strength and four minutes of saturation. There's no regen though. At least from not what I'm looking at. But this actually looks kind of cool. It needs coal seven sugar apples which give you speed three those are made from just apples and sugar alone but you also need this thing called a philosopher's stone now this is not part of candy craft it's part of bam's dongles Whatever the fudging hell that is. I have no idea what Bam's dongles is, but some other mod. But you need this thing called a Philosopher's Stone, which isn't really too hard to craft. It's just the fact that you need Glowstone, Redstone, and Diamonds. Things we don't have in this dimension. So, these Caramel Apples, like this one over here right now, uh, what do you do? Yeah, Strength for 4 minutes, Saturation for 8 minutes right there. And then, you need Sugar Overload Apples, which are made out of, uh, okay, interesting. Very, um, so BAMS is going to be something that we'll get into later, and you need a Philosopher's Stone for that, too. I would imagine the stone is something that we might want to make, um, whenever we get the chance, really. I guess that's probably going to come in handy at another dimension if we ever go to vanilla. I don't know if there's a vanilla overworld in this. I really don't. I kind of hope that there is, but I'm sure it'll be altered in some way. There also seems to be a caramel, oh, there's a caramel portal in Candy Craft, caramel block. Oh? Is there a caramel dimension in Candy Craft that we should be going to? Possibly. Possibly. Think I know what we're doing this episode if we can give an attempt to that. So caramel blocks are made out of sugar blocks, which are for sugar done up. Uh, do I have sugar on me? Yes, I do. So done up like that, and then you get sugar blocks. There you go. Getting sugar. What is that? Yeah, craft a sugar block. Okay, so we got an achievement for that. And then we have to smelt that in our sugar furnace using more sugar. 
Who wants to get sugary sweet? Just freaking, oh god, that's, oh yeah, a lot of sugar today. A lot of sugar, a lot of cavities, a lot of doctor's visits after today's episode. <laughs> but if you guys are on a diet, click off right now, this is gonna be horrible for you. Oh man. So fortunately enough, when it comes to making sugar, it's actually very easy. Everything in Candy Craft is sugar. Everything. Literally anything. All you have to do is just drop any item that you can find and just pop into the sugar factory and voila, it'll make it sugar. It's pretty much that easy. So if we actually- oh, wait, hold on. Uh, candy cane block right now. You cannot actually reverse that into candy canes. That would have been amazing. But I think if I was to do something even like this and then take the marshmallow planks and then put the planks in there, even that makes sugar. So I'm gonna just go ahead and toss in 64 planks right there. I'm gonna mine up a little bit more of these because literally it's any item. In that case, though, in that, well, I guess technically we're already getting like as fast as we can. We just need more of these sugar factories. We wanted to make more sugar, but we shouldn't need too much sugar. I'm gonna have to make like, you know what? Last episode, you guys remember, I made like a code word for Pez because it got too annoying to say Pez all the time. I'm gonna have to make like a code word for sugar. Like, I don't know. Etheral. There you go. Etheral. There you go. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more etherals for- Oh, it's just annoying. Okay, we need a lot of sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a lot of sugar, and I'll catch you guys back when we made- Guess what? A lot of sugar. So I nearly died while, uh, doing a little bit of research, but apparently, and I probably should have realized this, the caramel portal is actually not a caramel dimension inside Candy Craft. It's, uh, how you get to Candy Craft in general. So the caramel portal is what you build in the overworld, and then that- It's like a nether portal, basically. It's like you're doing a nether let's play with only nether, and being like, Oh, there's a nether portal. I wonder where that leads me to another nether dimension? No, it leads you inside this dimension. So we can't really go in there. We can't really do that because we're already in here and this is an inception. So we can't go deeper. So it looked cool for a second. And I don't know what a caramel block does in fair. I think it's actually just like some sort of block or it might actually be, I think the caramel blocks what you use to build a portal or it might actually be the sugar block. I think it might be the sugar blocks what you build. Then you put the lava on it. So the caramel portal, unfortunately, not, not going to be a good thing for us. So we'll work our way up to getting a caramel apple whenever we can get to an overworld dimension. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get apples in here, like the vanilla apples. I don't think you can actually even get them in Candy Craft. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and try getting a caramel bow in that case then. We just need string. And I'm not exactly sure where to get string from. Unless they have it in here. There's a macerator, pulverizer, sag mill. None of which we can really build. None of which have anything too useful for us. So I guess I need to find spiders. Which we've killed spiders before and they haven't dropped string to my knowledge. But I guess we'll try today. Maybe something good will happen. I don't know. Just to check and make sure again. I'm looking at a cotton candy spider right here. And if we kill it with our sword, like normal... No, no sugar, no, uh, I'm calling everything sugar. No string. So my idea is, if there's maybe even any sheep in this dimension, which there actually might be. I'm not sure if I can remember there being any. It's been a little bit. Uh, we might try and shear them, although I'm not necessarily sure. First off, why are you running from me? I don't have an ocelot bed or anything in this. Second off, hmm. I am just, like, kind of curious how exactly I'm supposed to do this. Also, some of these pigs are kind of scared of me. That's weird. Usually they're hostile, but today they're scared? Not really making any sense. Just getting some food right now. I did unfortunately throw out the remainder of my uh, gravitite suit. There's no use of it taking up any inventory space, and we don't have the ability to make backpacks right now. And now they're mad at me. Interesting. Oh, they kind of have little mood swings right there. So you were once scared, and now all of a sudden you're mad. Maybe I killed their favorite friend. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. There's something over here. It's weird because of all the time I spent in your humble. Oh, hold on a second. Your honey emblem is shiny. You hear a strange voice. I will wait. You will wait. You will wait. You not wait for you. Will wait you at forty-five seventeen negative one nine three. I have a feeling that's the same exact thing that I've already fought, so I'm not going to listen to my emblem because I've already done that deed, and there's no way that I'm fighting another one of those dudes. It points to the underground boss. With that being said, though. This is a little bit interesting because I have to remember, there's the dungeon mod does not exist in this. So if I see like a weird random generated structure out in the middle of nowhere that has cobwebs in it. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. There needs to be three though. There needs to be three. There's books in here though. I rate that for sure. And there is, wait, there's three cobwebs. What? This is like, th what, hey, hey, what, 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 hey. Hey, 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 oh, whoa, 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 hey, 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 wait, 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 whoa, 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 illusionary block with upright spikes, wow, nearly had our first death to a trap. 
That's that's something. That is definitely something right then. Wow. I didn't I I will tell you something. Of all things I wanted... Whoa, oh, 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 there's still more. There's still more. Okay, let me uh, figure out... Okay, so what we're going to do then, I think, is just shift break this right now. So I should break all of them? No, it actually doesn't. Wow. Well, that's interesting, huh? And there's blood on those, I guess, huh? Damn, all right. Are these, uh, these are normal blocks. Want to make sure there's, like, none underneath. That would actually be kind of funny, though. Imagine it was, like, these things underneath. Oh, my God. So that happened, then. Upright spike, stack EMC 2300, not too bad, not too great. Well then. <laughs> uh, Mad Pack, you clever dog. I shouldn't say Mad Pack, but I mean like the whole boss thing in general, the whole uh, dimension in general. Well, that happened. Kind of need to calm down a little bit from there. Here's the thing that we're kind of facing at the moment, though. I'm running out of things to throw away because everything I've got on me is relatively valuable. So if I was to go ahead and try getting on this guy and then going a bit more upward, is there even anything up here? There probably is, but then... It oh! Okay. There's even more. Illusionary block again. And this is up to what I thought for a second was an anvil. And then you are an arrow trap with... Uh, oh, okay. Mega Rubber Saplings, Doom Fire Scepter, Mid Damage, Rapid Fire, Applies Fire, Place- Oh, it's from Lycanite's Demon Mobs. An Iron Sword and a Saw Apple Milk and Tea. Odd items. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what exactly I want to trade away for this. Camouflage Stone Pressure Plate. Ah, okay. Uh, let's just take the Scepter for right now, because that actually seems pretty cool. And I don't really know what this bottle is for. Apple and Milk and Tea. Let's actually look up and see what this, uh, mod is for. Apple and- on. Oh, where's the ant symbol? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where it is. Apple and Milk. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, orange- Zoom, Black Rose, Mint Leaves. So it's kind of like Pam's Hardscraft in a way, but seems a lot more intricate though. Okay, well, I think we'll take this just to kind of have it on. So we'll go ahead and dish the sulfur for right now. Very interesting. I rate it. Is there anything else around here that's possibly trap? There's probably a trap right in here, I would imagine. Is there a trap in here? I don't know if there is. Let's jump down and see. There is no trap along here. Just, oh, nope. <laughs> there were three traps. And I fell for all three of them. Not only once, but multiple times. <laughs> That's fantastic. Alright, so we now, at least, by finding this one, have the ability to uh, make ourselves a bow. Which should, at least, uh, give us the um, achievement done. So let me go ahead and make this right there. Turn the string with that. And we got ourselves a beautiful caramel bow. And then to be able to make the actual caramel arrow. Let me go ahead and see right here. So, uh, Candy Craft, let me go at it right now. And, uh, what do we need? So, a honey arrow is made from honey shard, uh, candy cane, and a marshmallow stick, which I believe we should have all but the shard. So, we've seen a honey shard from that. Okay, shouldn't be too hard to get. Alright, so, marshmallow stick, then the candy cane at the bottom, and then the honey shard on top. And we got ourselves some honey arrows, not too bad. Uh, don't really know how much damage the bow does. It's kind of, I would imagine, just like a vanilla Minecraft bow, so probably not that much damage. We could use it maybe for anything. I don't really know what it would be useful for. I guess, really, in the meantime... I don't really know if I have a use for books necessarily. I'm gonna toss them away. If we need them, we can get them later. I also like the fact that I can craft normal vanilla sticks in this just by tossing in a stick into the crafting inventory. That's pretty neat. I rate that. So let's just go ahead and get our quest book done. That's already completed. Still need to fix the invalid items. We will do that soon with the loot bags, and we're just gonna have a full episode with like loot bags galore. So we'll see how that works. But sugared crisp. Use the honey emblem to find the sugared. Uh... Why? 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 Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Why would I do something in the game when it didn't tell me to? Because it would tell me later. Fudge, no! And it doesn't even say that we've done it because it needs to be killed when we have it select. Oh, if I just would have made a bow and arrow before this, this would not be an issue because I, oh my God. I hate this so much. What do we even get? We get a jelly queen. Oh no. No. I'm going to predict something. I'm going to predict my suffering. I would assume, 
After this, as a reward, you get the Jelly Queen Egg. And then you proceed to spawn in said Jelly Queen Egg and kill Jelly Queen. Not like... Not like we've already killed the Jelly Queen before. Not like we had that whole fight with her because she just spawned in randomly in the world during nighttime in trees. And I was like, oh, this would be fun. No, we'll likely have to kill her again. Like we'll have to kill the second boss over again. That's just great. You know what? That's just great. You know what? We're gonna take a screenshot of those coordinates that it said in chat right there because it looks like we're gonna have to find a whole different one. I'm really, really hoping to myself that there are multiple and that's not gonna point me back to the same one that I've already defeated, meaning that I can't advance because there's only one boss, although I would not assume that being the case. I'm still very agitated and really, you know what? In the words of H3H3 and my senpai, Filthy Frank, I'm triggered. I am triggered. God damn. <laughs> oh, I'm not. You know what? More tilt than arc. More tilt than arc. That's like killing a freaking Giga in arc and having to do it twice because it didn't save your progress the first time. That's just not fair. That's just not fair. See, the only reason I'm really upset about this and probably crying a lot more than I should be is because that guy, if you guys don't remember, dealt through more than half of my Pez armor that I had just made brand new. And our Pez armor is uh, getting close to being broken. So to be able to go down and fight him again, we would need to find another full... And there's even more right there. It's literally like pressuring me now at this point. It, we're gonna need to find another set of Pez armor before we can fight this guy a second time, which is not really all that good. In the meantime, though, I'm actually going to ignore um, those pigs, because I've got a lot of pigs around me. I do want to see what exactly these things are right here. Also, I want to see what's over here, because if you got... Oh. Interesting. I wanted to go over to this area on the map, not knowing what it was. We're gonna check that out in a second here, but I want to see first off these guys. So you are little chewing gum beetles. I remember there was one of you that just destroyed me. Absolutely destroyed me. Let's just break this spawner for right now and get some good old sheep experience. So you are chewing gum blocks and you are chewing gum puddles. These things don't do much. They just kind of slow you down on the ground. Not too bad. Hmm. Gonna ignore that. Don't think there's anything that we would need. Don't know what chewing gum is used for. We could find it later. As for this... Whoa... So this is the ocean then. Kind of odd how the ocean looks gray. And then there's also a little island on top of there that we could adventure to if we wanted to. I think we might go up to this island and see if we can find anything. Oh, what? Oh, wait a minute. There's some other stuff. I think we got a little bit of a journey to do, boys. So underneath here, there appears to be some sort of hidden loot chest. Now, I don't know whether or not it's going to be trapped, but I say, fudge it, let's just do it anyway. I think we'll be fine to really go down there. I don't think there will be much of an issue. What I should probably do, though, is actually make some doors if we need to get, like, a, a breather for anything. So let's go ahead and make a, a marshmallow crafting table right there. There we go. And it'll make some Can we actually make doors in this? We... Hold on. Can we? We can. Okay, cool. So we make some marshmallow doors. I don't know whether or not these are going to stack. Uh, we can try they do not stack unfortunately damn that's unfortunate okay so what we're gonna do then i think in that case is just make um probably i don't know if i'll need the spikes or anything so i'm gonna leave those behind we'll just make two doors that should be okay get some air pockets when we need them for whatever reason and uh let's just go down here and see what we can get inside of this thing hopefully it's gonna be good hopefully it's not empty like there's no glitch or anything so i guess we'll go down right here place the door down and get that air pocket so then this area right in here round caramel glass and chocolate cobblestone okay um also should probably before i do any Thing, right go ahead and uh break this down right over there there we go let's make a little, a little area right here just so no water gets in and then i believe we'll just be able to uh break this right over here and we can mine up this cobblestone and there you go no water is gonna flood in so let's say marshmallow chest and inside we oh pez i like it it's not a lot but i still like it though i rate it lollipop seeds not sure what it is honey emblem allow you to hear voices of the undergrounds Two honey emblems. And chewing gum dynamites. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Um, kind of trying to figure out what exactly I want to take with me and what exactly I want to leave behind. Because I don't... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave a creeper head behind. Let's go ahead and take that. And then lollipop seeds. What can I replace that with? We're going to go ahead and place that, I guess. I almost want to keep the honey arrows, though, to fight the uh, the other guy. To fight the... Because we're going to need to fight him again. Fudge me with a stick. But I'll keep the honey arrows because I think that would be probably good to do a little bit of ranged combat. Because I think I might damage him quite a bit. Sugar box, we can go ahead and get rid of it. We'll take the lollipop seeds. Let's set some stuff out above ground. Let's see how this works. So let me go ahead and uh, get this done out right of there and we'll climb up I think we should be able to swim up pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be more than fine I do want to check out what the uh, above island is up there But first off though before I do anything lollipop seeds don't really know exactly what I can make with these guys I don't know the command to like actually check what it is. I'll have to check out that later um, But as for the wall well, what else was it? We got the dynamite over here So if I just right click with this right wait chewing gum dynamite. How do I? I saw a spark. I saw a spark. I don't know whether or not this is like an insta-kill thing. I'm not gonna mess with this right now in fear that I might kill myself by accident, so I don't really want to do that at all. Uh, right then. I think our game plan is gonna be to try and get up there then in that case, but what I guess we can do, if I'm being honest, Let's, uh, you know what, actually, we're gonna ignore that chest for right now. Let's set up a little bit of a base camp here, because while I'm a bit tired of holding so many items, because I really, I can't do anything about it, we can just take a little bit of time right here and set up a small base camp, just so we can store some items away that we don't need on us. So, quartz can go in there, ectoplasm, soft dude bottle, sugar furnace, uh, these dungeon keys we can put away in here, cotton candy, chewing gum, oh, this feels so good. We should have done this a long time ago. I feel so bad that I never did. Aether metal, gotta keep that on us. Honeycomb we can put away. Sugar factory we can put away. Jelly ore we can put away. Healing stone we'll keep on us for safekeeping. Marshmallow door, lollipop seeds, sugar. We got the bow out. We got the pez put away in there. And the sat, the uh, disc. I was going to say saddle for some reason. What? So yeah, got a little bit of an area right here. That's looking good. I guess the game plan is going to be now is to take out a few trees, get some building blocks, and try uh, seeing what's up on the mysteriously looking... Uh, pretty vague island. Now, the real question is, do boats exist in this? Aw, oh, they don't. Come on. When you're making a mod, you gotta put in the crucial Minecraft elements that are meant. Fudge sticks. That's fine. So, it's not directly above this guy, which would have made, uh, little to no sense. So, what we're gonna have to do... Ooh, there's actually a really nice building platform on there. That's a little bit of a strange cutoff in the water. Now, I'm gonna assume, just like vanilla Minecraft, that there's not too many... Oh? Actually, there might be a couple dangers in the water. I was gonna say like we should be fine if we fall down Nothing will attack us or anything may not be the case But as long as with this though if we fall down we just won't die Which is always nice because uh, you know if this was I'm gonna be honest with you guys if this was just like above the ground I don't really know if I'd go for it because um, I would you know if I fall I die so that wouldn't really be a lot of fun. We might need to get, like, a bucket made soon with, like, some of this water. Quote-unquote water, I guess you can call it. Like, what, sugary water? You can call it, like, the, the water aftermath of, like... Or no, like, you can call it milk. Sugar milk? Like, the, the milk, like... You guys know, like, when you eat cereal, like, a really sugary cereal, and the milk, like, gets all sugary after, like, five minutes or whatever? That's what you can call this stuff, like, sugary milk. So, let's go ahead and get... Oh, I love the fact that we have the mod that does that. Alright, so... What do we have on top of here? Is it deadly? Is it a surprise? And it is... What is this? Crops. Growth 86%. Growth mature. What is this? What are you? Dragobus. Hardy morsel. Carrot, maybe? Like, kind of a carrot replacement? And then over here, we have, uh, just a house. And we've got the lonely gingerbread man. Five pez for a sky dungeon key. Work in progress. An elder emblem. You can't fall out of the world inside a sky dungeon. What? Rainbow record. What? Well then. Interesting. So it says that it's a work in progress. By the WIP, if you guys don't know, means work in progress. Next to the, um, the sky dungeon key. Although the other emblems and stuff don't seem to be. We only have four Pez. We do not have five, unfortunately. So if I was to try and get any more Pez, it looks like we could maybe, like, try and go to an, uh, like, some sort of dungeon? 
which looks very cool. There's also like some red trees in the distance there. Also, from what I'm looking at over here, it seems like this is not the most common occurrence. At least, I don't know if there's more than just one of these things. But uh, we've only found one so far. And it was floating above one of these. The oceans, I should say. So, this would be a good place to come back to. I don't assume this guy would die from anything. So, we're not going to try taking him back home. Because he's probably safer here than anywhere else. Because it's not a hostile environment. But I rate this, though. This is um, a very interesting above-ground location for sure. I guess we'll have to try and find some Pez, then. Let's find some Pez. Cowabunga, dude! Uh, oh, wow. Imagine if, like, in this dimension, just, like, water didn't prevent fall damage. And I just... Why do I always think of the bad things? Like, hey, what if I died? What if I died? What if I beat the game? That's another way to think. Optimism. What about it? Oh, down in the caves. First time going into the lava area. And we found ourselves some pets, which is awesome. Uh, pretty good amount of pets, actually, too. Just got to remember that even wearing Pez armor, just like my ethereal wisp over there, lava isn't really your best friend because my wisp just died. That's sick. And I thought there was more Pez over there. It's unfortunately just cobblestone. Almost got really happy again, but I think we're doing okay. So let me go ahead and build up a little bit right here. I think it should be a good amount of four. Now, there was one for five. There was one for 10 and one for 20. I think so. It was either 20 or 25, I believe. So um, I'm kind of curious as to what exactly we should like go for in Pez amounts while being down here. I would think so. That's three right there. So we have a total of seven if we don't make any more pickaxes while being down here which we might um because i think that would honestly be like a worthwhile investment to make pez pickaxes instead of like any other pickaxe because it's pretty oh god i'm sorry guys it's dark i'm gonna try like editing the video so it's a bit brighter so if you guys see like a brightness increase it might look a little bad but you should be able to see things better just know it's because i love you and i'm putting in a editing effort because i love you guys and i just can't you can't just sit and not be able to see any of what's going on right now because kind of, this is kind of uh, a little insane plus you guys so much real uh breaking these like little white flower stuff is a really good way to get like a giant underground surface to mine through so trying to find pez around here wish i had some torches don't really have the ability to and then we found more pez that's sweet what is that right there that is an eight wait was that an eight fane wait hold on wait no pez where the pez go where did the Pez go? It was there for a second. Okay, we have eight. So that was a five eight. Not too bad. So we got 12 in total. All right, moving on. More and more mining. Gotta gotta love Minecraft. It's like the other half of it, right? Mine and craft. Just mine and craft. So I love Minecraft. It's a great game. So I've been kind of like uh, rummaging around through the little areas underneath here because basically everything that you can mine is just this, uh, the sugar blocks. So it's a pretty easy way to find Pez without having to use any resources whatsoever. We already got 13 just from going down around here. This is freaking, I love it. It's so easy you just walk around here mine through a couple blocks and then bam he's got a whole new well hold on a second just a little bit back here he's got a whole new area you can explore and pez is so frequent down here because you know you can see it all the way down to bedrock it's really nice it's really really nice for getting materials and it's actually incredibly cheap the only thing about it though is you have to have ample food while doing it because while you if you break like a large amount of blocks with vein miner it'll really drain through your saturation it's a good balancing mechanic i like it for sure so it's not completely overpowered but it's definitely worth the uh not having to go through strip mining hassle a little bit more pez right there hiding next to some lava if you can find the lava pockets and the lava pockets and mine around it you can actually get some really good light underneath here so it's really nice it's actually really oh no that's aluminum that's not pez this is not the first time that that's happened and i've been let down from this <laughs> damn it almost got really happy that would have been a good few pets right there <laughs> Still, you know what? And I'm starting to annoy myself by paying, by saying pets too much. So unfortunately, as great of an idea as I actually thought that was when I really looked over it, that is more aluminum, not pet. Can I, like, that's pets. Okay, so aluminum is like the, pets has an outline. Pets has like a, like a grayish black outline around the white. Aluminum just has no outline. It, it just looks... That's not really all that intelligent. Either way, so we found a little bit more pets right here. Literally a second we go back up to the surface. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um... I don't rate that idea anymore. I think it would be fine if you use Gamma or if you had the ability to use Gamma. I've already tried using Gamma. It for some reason doesn't work on the mod pack. I might just try and get like a mod for it um, to make it a little bit easier on myself because Gamma is really, if anything, just in general better for content, not necessarily cheating in my opinion. But yeah, going down there, I found more aluminum than I did Pez. In fact, I didn't really find much Pez at all, which was kind of actually pretty surprising. So um, it's a little bit funny that the second that I get actual, you know, back to an actual cave, I'm able to find Pez pretty much immediately. It's like, eh, 
it was a good idea. It was an attempt, but unfortunately, not really, uh, didn't, didn't really work out in our favor. So at the moment, we currently have, uh, 21 Pez in total. So if we want to, we can get the first couple things aside from the Rainbow CD, which in my opinion might actually almost be worth it for right now, because I don't really know what the Rainbow CD really benefits me with, so I don't really think that I care for it much. I'll go down, obviously, and I'll... Are we right back? Somehow, we managed... Somehow, I managed to make a direct loop back around to the area that I started in. That's just incredible. That's genuinely incredible. Wow. I'm actually full-on shocked. Can't believe it, even with my own eyes. Well then, that's completely unexpected. Somehow managed to get back to the area that I started in. That's awesome. A little bit terrifying, but still pretty freaking awesome. So I think, in all honesty, for what I might do right now, looks like I have iron armor on. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode. We have the Pez to be able to get the materials that we need from our good old uh, Sky Villager, we'll call him. Sky Villager, I think that would be a good idea. A good old Sky Dis Villager craft. Um, might also be good. Do we just get... Oh, he's got another mid red heart, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can use those if vital, but I wouldn't really want to by choice. And I think this right here was the location where I went down initially. And there's some Pez right... There's a creeper right underneath me. There's some Pez right in front of me right there. You're gonna go ahead and give me a very hefty chunk of 23. So we actually have 27 on us. What I think I might do is off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and try searching for a little bit more Pez to see if there's any that I can find. And, um, but yeah, I think we're, uh, good to go ahead and call us an episode. We're back down here in the caves. As much as I really thought I love this idea, it's just, it's too much of an eyesore in all honesty. It's just not really all that liable. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and try one more time. Can we find a Pez? from just like this one little endeavor. Just this one little thing, can we find any Pez? I'm just gonna see, any Pez at all? Pez, by chance? Doesn't look like it. I really hope there's not because then I'm gonna look like a giant dumbass, which I really would not like. Any Pez at all? Think I've already gone through this area. Guys, we're gonna go dip it off right there. Hopefully you all enjoyed. We got some stuff lined up for tomorrow's episode. Pretty much just like, gonna try and stay as far away from the main objective as I can because in all honesty what I could do is instead of doing the fun stuff I could actually take this Pez and put it in toward better gear so I could then fight the boss again but I kind of really want that dungeon key you know what I'm saying so guys we're gonna end it off right here hopefully you enjoyed take care hope you're all having a great day and I'll catch you all back next time for another episode of Mad Pack. Chill! <laughs>